So almost half of them as the Bucks will inbound. That's pure dominance. I remember watching that game. Kill when they'll put those numbers up as an opposition. Hannafin back to Giannis. Smart gets up on into him. Giannis, quarter three quarter. Won't go. White has it. Trying to wrestle it away. Ball. And uh, the ball foul. Yep. George Hill. 14 foul, not the penalty yet. Derek White has made a lot of big plays in this game and securing that rebound was one of them. They've gotten really good contribution from so many. Holiday playing physical with Tatum. Tatum on the drive. Lays it in out of the foul. Tatum tried to slam it. Somebody got a piece of it. And Jason Tatum with a chance for a three-point play. Those handles really improved. Rejects the pick, drives it, takes some contact from Connaughton, a push from Portis, and is able to finish Bruin. It looks like they're going to get an incredible road win. And if you're Mike Budenholzer, I think you have some decisions of who to play and how do you generate more offense. Holiday Hill has to give it up, knocks that down, Jeff. That makes it an 11-point game, still 225 left. And you're so right. You look at Giannis's numbers, it's ridiculous. Two holidays solid, but they've got to get some production somewhere else throughout this line. Tatum wants to clear out. Tatum against Connaughton, pull back, three-pointer. Rebound White. Derek White with another big play. Back to Tatum. Kicks it out to Smart. And Smart wisely pulls it back out. Tatum drives, and a whistle and a foul on Portis. Now they're in the penalty with 154 remaining. Four fouls on Portis. Yeah, I mean, just... You just... There's only so far you can go when you're only getting some other, some, you know, minimum production. Tatum's got 45. But Brown and Smart both cracked 20. So he's gotten the necessary support for them to go on the road and win a really hard-fought road game. An electrifying performance on the road for Jason Tatum. This is a defining game in his young career. Facing elimination on a year where the Celtics really feel that they can win a championship. And it keeps the season alive if they hold on here. Holiday. Shot no good. White with another rebound. And the air has gone out of this crowd here at Pfizer Forum. Some of them now starting heading for the exits. They were hoping for a celebration. Horford throws it inside to Brown. Brown shot blocked with a foul. With 124 remaining, and the Celtics comfortably up by 13. And Mike, when the last regular season game of the year was played, Celtics and the Bucks both ended with the same record. Bucks punted the last regular season game. The Celtics didn't. They will now have home court advantage in game seven. And I know some don't believe in home court advantage as much, but I got to tell you, I do in Game 7. In Game 7 for sure. So far in this series, it hasn't meant the heck of a lot. Celtics hang on with this one. It will be the fourth road win in six games in this series. As the Tenacupo now sits down as Mike Budenholz are realizing he's going to have to fly to Boston on Sunday. What a performance and a losing effort from the great Giannis Antetokounmpo. 44 points, 20 rebounds, six assists. Manassas, who just came in in style by Grant Williams. And this just the first of two game sixes. What will we see from San Francisco? Can the Golden State Warriors bounce back from that embarrassing loss in game five, in which they trailed by as many as 55? Meanwhile, the Celtics 
Talk about bouncing back as one of the most crushing losses in Celtics playoff franchise history. Made up by 14 in the fourth quarter, lose at home, and now came here to Milwaukee facing elimination. What a magnificent performance from the Boston Celtics. Outstanding. It comes from your best players and the leadership within the organization. Your head coach. They responded. They understood they dropped the ball. They've been facing adversity all year long. You talk about how they started. Calling for firing, calling for trades. This team has responded and a huge win in game six. But the thing is, you don't want to rest on it because this Bucks team is more than capable of coming to Boston and take care of business. Well, the Bucks won last year against the Mets on the road in game seven. And a whistle. The delay of game called uh, Thanasis going over the line on the inbounds. There shouldn't be a delay of game. Tice shoved him as he was taking the ball out of bounds. Because he was over the line. You're over the line. No, here, here it is. <laughs> You can be an irritant until the game is settled, and then let it go. Okay, I want, I want you to tell me what happens. He's standing over the line. Where? Thank you. Apology accepted? No. And I'm going to say this. Even, you're right, he wasn't over the line. <laughs> but stop the nonsense. Like, just let the clock run out. Dude, well, the reason the game is the, over. Shot the technical was because it was the second delay of game penalty. Williams inbounds to Pritchard. Nick Stauskas, as both coaches have emptied the benches. Celtics holding on. Now nine on the shot clock. Stauskas makes his move, goes inside, blocked from behind. Let's see what they're going to call. Blocking foul. And there will be a game seven. We'll have it for you on ABC. From the TD Guard in Boston. 3.30 Eastern Time, tip off shortly after 3.30. The atmosphere in the buildings in this series. Here at Pfizer Forum, obviously not down the stretch here. Just electric. And in Boston, just unbelievable, that crowd. And they are so happy their team's got another game to play on Sunday afternoon. Mike, whoever wins that, I, I think the three teams left in the East are all hard playing, incredibly well coached, led by superstars, have a toughness around them. I think any of the three, whoever comes out of the East, truly is going to be hardened so that they're a championship caliber team. Again, you think after that loss of Suffolk, had a chance to go up 3-2. Both these teams have shown amazing resiliency throughout the season and throughout these playoffs. And now the Celtics can just dribble it out. Grant Williams getting his curly knee along right now. <laughs> uh, whistle on the foul. How about those people watching right now saying, who is Curly Neal? Stop it. The great, great Curly Neal. There's a lot of people, unfortunately. What? Yeah, he was one of my heroes as a kid. Legendary Holland Globe child. Uh, the crowd now heading for the exits. The Celtics will fly home to Boston tonight. No. They tomorrow. Stay oh, they're staying over. They think they get in too late. They got in the last time they came home. 